Right, welcome guys, welcome friends to the channel. We're here, not to look at my laundry, uh, we are here to do everything wrong with the 1975 Toyota Corolla Coupe. Yes, that's right. Join me uh, and I do my first inspection on the car because I've not done it yet. Uh, so yeah, let's do the first inspection, everything wrong with it, just double check, let's see what kind of what state it's in uh, and go from there. Right, well, one of the first things wrong with the car is the seats. Great seats, really like them. Bride, who doesn't like a pair of bride seats? And they're uh, kind of old school looking. They're not really, but they are kind of anyway. Um, but they're, as you can probably tell, not great. So there's something wrong with the bolts. They, they don't line up to the holes, basically. Um, these were bought, you know, before they shipped over just haphazardly bolted in. You can kind of tell. So hole for the seat is where here, and hole for the rack is there. So it doesn't fully align. So I'm gonna have to take this out, take the whole uh, rail out, and then drill a new hole for it basically, here anyway. And then we may have an issue with the rear. So let me move this forward. So in the rear, it, doesn't seem to line up at all. Um, but if we can get at least the front done, then that'll be good on there. Um, so that's first thing. Oh, one more thing I noticed before I even got anywhere, um, sort of, you know, actually just moving the car in my garden, my driveway was this. Not good, not good at all. And annoyingly, and I don't really, I mean, obviously it's got a 4AGE engine in it, as you saw, it's, I, I need to look at what transmission it is because it, it's, it's just really like vague. Like, I, I'm, I, I think that's neutral and I think that's a gear. Do you see what I mean? But then also the surround is stopping it from going into gear as well, properly anyway. I mean, it does go into gear, just as an FYI, but I, I think that's I think that's neutral. So there's that. Um, now, next part of this is looking in the boot. I've already spotted some rust in the boot, not major. This is a 50-year-old car. I've got to keep that in mind. 50-year-old car. So let's go. Uh, let's go and show you the rust. Right. So rust, 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 rust. So a car's worst enemy. But the boot actually on a hole is, is pretty good, to be honest, right? Um, I've charged the battery, battery's reconditioned now. So I've got one of those little C-Tech chargers. Now, there's, there's little patches here, there and everywhere. There's a little, well, there's nothing here. This doesn't sound great. That sounds more like paint than anything else. Right, in here's okay. Not horrendous, not horrendous, not horrendous. All pretty good, right? All pretty good. Ouch, just hit my head. A little bit down there, I think. No, okay, but it's here. Okay, so I've already pushed it through. So there's a little bit of rust here. Um, and there was clearly an accident. It's clearly been shunted. That's not really a big deal though. This is a, a pretty big, well, that's the chassis rail, isn't it? So, you know, it's not, this is all strengthened underneath it. This is just some midpoint here. So I am I might buy a welder and just do a patch on here, to be fair, because it's like, it's literally just, it, not there, it's, it's like that big, it's really not that much. 
the rust that you see here, I actually have tried to push through it. And I think it's all surface rust. Let me get out of the way so you can see it. I think the majority of this is actually surface rust. Like, you know, like I'm pushing pretty hard and it's staying solid. So I think, I think we'll wire wheel that down. And I think some of it may come through, who knows. Um, but there's nothing on the other side. I think it's, I don't know. I'm gonna wire wheel it all down and then do some rust converter and see what we're working with. But this car is not something I want as a show car. You know, this is a, well, the idea was, was have a daily classic car. Um, in here, a little bit there. That's just paint flaking off. But it's okay, like this, this can be chopped off and, and a new one welded in. It's re that, that I don't really care about. So this is okay, I don't mind about this stuff. I know some people would see this and go, oh my God, it's real bad. I actually think this is okay, genuinely. This isn't like cap. I'm not coping here. Um, huh. A little rubber grommet, anyway. So I don't really mind about that, genuinely. That's okay. Oh, let me see if I've got the keys. Yeah, okay, cool, All right. Oh, we do have, we've got a silencer in the exhaust. Don't know why we've got that. That's a bit unusual. Uh, we do have, what I noticed was, if we can just zoom in, there's a little bit of a leak from, oh, you can't really see it. There's a little bit of a leak from the diff. So, you see that there? A little bit of a leak, bit of a weepy weepy. That's not a, such a big deal though. That's just from the fill hole, that's okay. I honestly don't care about that. That's fine. Like, that is okay with me. Um, this apparently has an AE86 rear end, by the way. Apparently. Uh, which I can probably believe. Um, but anyway, what we'll do is we will take a look underneath it a bit more now. Go grab a flashlight. Right, you're joining me on the floor. I know I look stupid, but it's super, super low. It looks good underneath here. So let's go take a look. Right, see all of this? Let's look at, oh, it's so low, look at that. That is, my God, like that is so low to the floor. Holy shit. Uh, well, that's fine, I don't really care about that. But the underside looks pretty solid, actually. You know, where you'd think that it's welded or rusty. It's all actually pretty damn good. So all here, this is floor pan. This is, I think underneath the driver's seat. This is solid. And I have looked inside the car as well. But this like, you know, you ever seen Auto Alex and what those guys do hitting things? Oh, with the screwdrivers and stuff, I mean, you know. There's nothing here, this is solid. Genuinely solid. Move this bit down. Everything looks quite nice underneath it. Chassis rows are a bit dented here and there. You can see that, right? But all in all, actually, pretty damn good. Oh, there's a on the magnet. Um, that's a bit low to the floor. What's that reverse light? I guess, I don't know. But this is all pretty solid under here. I'm really happy with the state of the car. Not rotten at all in terms of floor pan. Maybe, a, I don't know, maybe a bit on the pinch weld. A little bit there, no, that's okay. There's a little bit there, this is on the fender though. Right, just down there, that's okay. So underneath, really, really happy, actually. Um, yes, doesn't look to be any major leaks going on either, which is good. Oh, he says, 
now just spot on a leak. And what is that? That is, oh, what is this? That is, I don't know what that is. Is that fresh? Fresh oil by the looks of it. Huh. All right, well, we've got an oil leak. Not massive though. And I say not massive because there's been nothing on the ground where this car's been. Let me have a smell of this. Uh, it's just, that's just an oil of some sort. You say if it was like fuel or something, but that's okay. That's not such a big deal. We can get this, um, get that sorted. The tires are dry rot to hell. So they need to be replaced. These are really wide actually. These are 195. Uh, 19550 with a stretch, which is crazy. So, yeah, major things. Uh, there's a bit of an oil leak, to be fair. It's kind of soaked in down there. Oil leaks I don't mind so much about. Oh, no, it is dripping on the floor. Uh, so there is an oil leak. There you go, you can see it right there on the floor. Okay, that's fine. I, don't, I actually, yeah, I don't mind that too much. Um... I wonder where that's coming from. Oh, uh, 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 uh. right, well, we'll find the oil leak. So, oil leak seats. Uh, it is running a bit weird as well. Oh, but I think it is mainly. So, it is running a bit weird, but I think it is mainly uh, like air fuel mixture uh, by the looks of things. I don't know for certain. Obviously, I need to take a look at it a bit more, but I am pretty certain it is all to do with the air fuel mixture. Um, so uh, the engine got flooded. Not not sure how, got flooded. Wouldn't start for like a day. Uh, took all the spark plugs out, uh, switched the fuel pump off, cranked it, drained it, drained the cylinders by doing that, and then cleaned up all the spark plugs, put them all back in and it started again. But it's running a bit weird now. I thought it was because it's got like a mixture of shitty fuel in it. But I don't know if that is the case. It may be, in fairness. It, it may still be that. Because um, I put 10 litres of high octane, you know, 99 uh, fuel in it. So I don't know quite what's going on with it idling and a bit weird. Because it, it was idling fine, but now it's not. I think it's a combination of hoses. I think hoses and vacuum hoses and things. So that's kind of it, really. Um, Shall we start it up so you can hear it? I don't think you've heard it yet, have you? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, actually, just before we do, there are some lights out. So these work, these are fine. These are not all fine. I've gone around and had a look at these. Um, this side doesn't work. Probably just bulbs, to be fair. And if not, most other things work. So I think it's, I don't think it's gonna be an electrical issue. But anyway, let's sit down here and start it up. Right, so we're inside now and you can see, so this is, this is it idling. You can see it's sort of trying to seek. It's very like up, down, up, down. Um, and because of that, I'm thinking it's air. I think it's air fuel mixture. I think so anyway. I, I, I still don't really know what these switches do. I, I don't know what that does. Maybe water temp, I, 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 I don't know. But you see here, sort of seeking, very lumpy bumpy. Also, what on earth is this? This looks like a turbo timer, but it, there wasn't a turbo engine in it. What is this? Any ideas? Doesn't work. But it's an epexy. I, I thought this was a turbo timer. It's very rough, like it's shaking me, look. Very, very rough. So I don't know what that is, but I'm not like, I'm not massively worried anyway, put it that way. 
So, oh, yes, I don't know, it's rough as hell. Uh, but it is cool to see that the battery is fully charged and is charging, right? So that's cool, like that. Um, but it's definitely not happy. But, you know, this is something which can be resolved. It's definitely, from my perspective, this is the rough idle and how it's running seems to be air fuel. It's all, it's all, it's just air fuel mixture. I swear it, it has to be. Uh, and I think it's got loads of old hoses on it. So that's the other thing. Lots of, lots of old hoses. Um, so they all need to be replaced, basically. I need to replace every single old hose, go through every single hose and just double check. Just double check everything. And then get that oil leak fix because it is leaking on the floor now. So whatever that is, that's not good. Uh, but all in all, solid, I think. Yeah? I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this is good. I can tell you what I paid for it if you want, maybe. No, no, I won't tell you. Because I may sell it one day. I will sell this car, this isn't a keeper car. This was just to have for like summer and have for fun. So there you go. A uh, car on my 1970, oh yeah, look at the arches as well. Look at the arches, wide arches. Um, so yeah, this has been my 1975 Toyota Corolla hard top or coupe, whatever they call it. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe because we're going to need to fix all of this stuff. Documents, by the way, which I said I may have... Oh, there you go. Died. Interesting. Uh, we'll turn it off a little bit. Documents uh, did actually... I've, I've got them. Uh, I've got them. They were in another car. I had to get them the next day. So registration's all been sent off. Uh, and yeah, it'll, it'll be on the road soon, hopefully, um, which will be cool. A lot of this stuff is very minor. As long as I can fix the weird idling issue, which I do think seems to be air fuel mixture, it just seems to be what it is, um, I think it will run fine. So yeah, if you want to step to that on all this, hit subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, uh, and I will give you an update on my Datsun 510 soon. Uh, and also the Lexus. There's been some little slight issues with that, but they're always good because they get resolved by Lexus on warranty. Anyway, cheers, take care, bye-bye now. Bonus, I did get it to work. Don't know why I died. See if it dies again. See, air fuel mixture, has to be. Has to be air fuel. Yeah, it just doesn't like to idle. Maybe timing, actually, to be fair. It might have slipped a tooth. Four AGEs do that. Anyway, bonus content, I'm going. Bye.